guys, Miss Slash Daddy here. We're here to talk about rumors and how they piss people off and how they're actually called, considered bullying. You can go check out Master Slash Daddy's video. He <clears throat> made a video about it too. Do you want to talk about your video? That's just about people that spread rumors and how, how that's a sort of a bully move that people do because they're weak. I don't know else. Just hurt people, and if you bully people, it can just consider hurtful. And there's people, a people that can't take it as well as I and her can. Will can will and do commit suicide. It's called bully side. I'm called bully side. I've had a couple friends from that do yeah do that. So if you don't stop, you will you will end up hurting someone. Physically, so mentally, emotionally. Physically, mentally, and emotionally harming people. That's called, you do not want to do that. You will see the be best two people gone. So, I'm, I'm way stronger than all of you motherfuckers. I'm not going to let you put me down as much as you guys are down. And I'm trying to be strong. I'm stronger than you guys. I'm really trying to be strong. That's why I'm hanging out with him so much and, you know, just trying to live my life and just be who I am. Yes, I'm bisexual. Yes, I'm dating a little guy. But why should that matter to anybody? Mm. <sighs> you guys that are spreading rumors need to stop. Seriously. Because now there are police out there that will arrest you for bullying. Or so it says Master Slash Eddie. So, you guys need to be careful what you're saying. And you guys know who we're talking to. I'm if you guys very, are very, offended by them, we're talking to you. I'm very anti-bullying. So am I. I don't like it. I never liked it. I'm just sick of being rumor spread. Cause I've been like that my whole life. I've had family doing it. You know, mm -hmm. people at school doing it about me. I'm just sick of it. If anybody else has a problem, please... Comment below and we'll address Com it. Comment below and we'll address how and tell us how you're feeling and what you're feeling and why you, you know, why you feel you're wanting to end your life and don't want to see that. We don't. Or we don't want to see anybody ending their life. Trust me, I struggle with that every day, but, you know, I don't actually act on it, but I struggle with thoughts of it. Yeah. And I've struggled with that since I was seven. Since my parents got divorced. I'm not one to usually come out of my shell, but if something needs to be said, I will say something. She's way tougher than you think she is. I'm way tougher than you guys think. I can handle a lot more than you guys think I can. And if you split us up, you will never see me again. Or, or me. Or her. Never. And that includes family. That's family, friends, ex-friends, whatever. You guys split us up, you'll never see either one of us again. <sighs> but you know what? It's not really your guys' choice. It's our choice. She's 20. It's ultimate, ultimately She's up to us. She's 20 years old, almost 21. After she hits 21, no one can say nothing. Right. I turned 21 in August. After that, you guys can't say crap about us. You guys have really no say over anything. I am sorry this offends certain people, but you know what? It needs to be addressed and it needs to be said. I don't care anymore. Defend them. They defended, I mean, offended us. I know, but still. And I don't go that low. I don't like to do what people do. Are you good? What? Are you good? You want to show? No, I don't want to be okay. on camera. Just asking. So yeah, this is my video. He put one out earlier too about it. So go check him out. Master Slash Daddy. Alright, bye. Nobody cares.